I was a prop 48 and I was sitting out and I was trying to find avenues to, to stay in shape. So every Sunday, uh, this area gym in my old neighborhood would be open and we would go over and have some really intense basketball games. So that night we went to play, it was a Sunday night and it was me, my cousin and another friend. We left the gym, went into the neighborhood, dropped my cousin off at home and we were headed back to the University of Memphis campus uh, for me to go back. Cousin phones me and said, hey man, you know what? I left my wallet in the back of the vehicle. It must've fell out of my bag. I need it because my mom wants me to go to the store. I got to drive and my license is in there. So I said, cool. So we turn around and man, I can't even make this up. This is like a movie. We park in front of my aunt's house and then all of a sudden this car creeps by us and I'm noticing the car. Not really, you know, I'm naive. It drove down the road and I could see down this road. It went about three homes down, turned around, came back and went right past us. Me and my friend are talking casually. We're not even thinking this car is even like sitting there like being predators and waiting on us to get out. So I'm turning to talk to him and I see headlights and I look back, it's the same car. Comes by us again, makes a left on the same street, turns around in the same driveway that it did the first time and it still hasn't clicked. Now I call myself like a, <laughs> a, a guy that's aware that has some really good awareness. The car comes back past us. And by this time, I'm trying to call my cousin to tell him to come outside to get the wallet. He doesn't answer the phone. So now we get out of the car, slam the doors to open the hatch up to get the wallet to take it inside. And all of a sudden we hear the brake screech. I look up, it's the same exact car. Now I reenacted in my mind like a movie going backwards. Go back to them passing us. Go back to them making the left, go back to them making the um, turn around in the, in the third driveway and passing us. And then I went, oh, it was an oh shit moment. Honestly, it was. I was like, they're about to do something. So he rolls down the window and I looked in there and it was like, it seemed like six guys were in this car. Now my heart is racing. I'm like, this is, this is not good. And then he asked my friend, can you tell me how to get to Bartlett? And Bartlett is one of the richer neighborhoods, which is like 30 minutes away from us. And when he said that, I knew what was about to happen. As soon as my friends started explaining, because he could feel it too, they jumped out of the car, they had their hats down low and they put the gun to my head. I didn't even look at them and they just fell to the ground. So they robbed us, robbed the truck, hopped in the car and then drove down the street. Got about, mm, about 100 feet away. And I guess they thought about that they should have killed us because they didn't know if we saw their faces. So they started shooting back to where we were. And the first initial shots that rang out, I ducked behind the car. And then something told me to jump in, into the car because the hatch was up. And right before I jumped into the, um, the hatch, man, I got hit in the foot. So the bullet ricocheted off the ground and hit me in the foot. And then when I jumped up, I was like, I got hit. He was like, where? You're lying. My, my friend, I was like, no, I got hit in the foot. And when I looked at the side of my shoe, it was like a little hole. And then when I took my shoe off, it was like a blood stain now. And the, the, the bullet was lodged in my foot and they didn't come out of the other side. And by this time, now my cousin comes out, my aunt comes out because he goes and knocks on the door. They call the ambulance and then I get to the hospital. Obviously, we're still in the movie because the, 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 the stuff, the, the word that I get from the doctor where the bullet is lodged right under my foot in there, it broke all, it went through the, uh, the small toe and then broke all of these bones and then lodged between the big toe and the second toe that I probably wouldn't be able to play basketball again for the way that the bullet hit my foot. So now I'm in the, I'm in the hospital going, you have got to be kidding me. Like all he had, to, I'm thinking about my cousin not coming out. I'm reenacting the guys driving by. And I'm like, you have got to be kidding me that I didn't recognize that. And luckily maybe two or three months later, the bullet actually moved out and got into the web of my big toe and my, and my, and my uh, second toe. And I had to go have surgery. They put me on my stomach. Uh, hung my foot off the uh, the end, and then they went in there and surgically just cut it, took the bullet out, and then sewed it back up, and then gave me the bullet inside like a little <laughs> a little clear deal or whatever, to, uh, like to a necklace or whatever, and was like, this is the bullet. I'm like, dude, that is crazy. And then I just got well, and then it went from there. Oh, then that's crazy. That 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 got to be traumatized, especially as a as a freshman in college. Man, and so here it is, the next year, uh, we had the Southern Heritage Classic. That was Tennessee State the very next year, around the same time, basketball season is just starting. 
uh, before football season starts, maybe the first week of college football, Tennessee State is playing Jackson State University in our Liberty Bowl Stadium. Myself and David Vaughn, uh, who were the stars of the team, we're going to the game and we park kind of in the neighborhood of the Liberty Bowl. Not a great neighborhood, not too bad, but not really great. And we're walking and some guys pass by us and they start slowing down, but a car comes behind them and makes them turn. So I told David, I said, David, that just doesn't look good. It doesn't look good, man. Let's jog back to the car, get in the car, let the seats back, and let's see if they're going to make the turn. Man, 10 minutes later, that car had made the block and came back looking for us. I learned my lesson from the first time, but I was like, <laughs> wow, man, how, what kind of luck do I have? But honestly, it was just how it was back then, I guess, but... We survived it, and those were the only two times that I've had those situations. But it was a blessing, man, to be able to get uh, get away without being killed initially from the first robbers, and then uh, being smart enough to recognize the second time around that things happen.